Soleil was born the color of midnight. Soleil looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn, Baba was the color of dusk, and Mitch, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Soleil either. People gave her sister, Mitch, pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Soleil names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Soleil felt hurt every time, so she hid while her sister made lots of friends. Soleil dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. So we decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest foods. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I'm from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends, if you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply. May I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, so we rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. So we told Mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Soleil, she muttered. And what does it mean? Star, Soleil whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Soleil's stomach, the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful, Soleil sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me. But you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now up you get and out you go. How could she see, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Solway's window. The night sent me, the star said. Come with me. Solway hopped onto the star and off they went. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was a night and a day, and they were sisters. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. People gave pets like lovely, nice, and pretty. People gave night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. They stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then, they grew too long. They began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. They set off to find Night, and she did. I miss you, said they. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, they replied. 
But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The star chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors and sunlight can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow with night, everything had a silver sheen, eggnut and fine. They told her sister, when you are the darkest is when you are the most beautiful. It's when you are the most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little, not even at all. Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows and a little bit of day returned to the night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on the sunniest day and the darkest night and every shade in between. Together they make the world we know, light and dark, strong and beautiful. So Way rose the next morning, beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. So Way felt beautiful inside and out. The end. You are beautiful just the way you are, and don't let anybody say that you're not. Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification. Bye.